Hello folks and welcome to a sunny Riddings fishery not too far from Grendon in Warwickshire. We're here for the two day RW Floats Winter Silverfish Classic. I say winter, we're moving into spring now. This is the last big silverfish event of the 22-23 season. We've got 27 of the best silverfish anglers in the UK around two lakes here at the Riddings. I think it's going to be an absolute belter. Let's go and see how they're getting on. Hi guys, uh, Matt George. I'm here today on the RW Floats uh, two day silver fest. Um, I've drawn peg 23 on the match lake today. Uh, it's a cracking peg, loads of form uh, in the past. I drew it last year on the same festival. I've had nearly 60 pound off it, so it's a cracking peg. I'm gonna tack it a similar way, worms long on the pole and then worms short later on, hopefully catch some, some bigger, bigger stamp skimmers. Um, switching between 13 metres and 7 metres throughout the day so fingers crossed um, we'll have a good day and then uh, to follow it up tomorrow on the on the folly. Right we're back at the Riddins um, for one of Gaz's two-day silverfish festivals sponsored by RW Floats um, and I think I'm fairly happy where we are we're on peg seven on Riddins a bottom lake which is lots of little skimmers in the proper winter it's dead pellety and that's probably what I'd be doing but I'm a bit unsure today whether it's going to be pellets or a bit more positive and need to catch a few more, bring them up shallow. So I've kind of edged my bets a bit. Um, we've got kind of a pellet line long, a sort of maggoty ground baity line long, and then one short that hopefully will clatter a few on later. A couple of shallow rigs, so it's a bit covering our options. Hopefully the cart won't be too much of an issue. Um, but yeah, section wise, I think we're in with the tougher section. I'm sort of end peg on that section. So hopefully we'll do all right on the first day and give us a chance on the second. Um, so my name's Adam Palmer and I'm fishing the two-day Riddins uh, on the flyer uh, two-day qualifier, silverfish qualifier uh, and uh, sponsored by, very kindly, by RW Floats this year, so thank you very much. Um, drawn 23 on the folly, which is alright, middle of the lake-ish, uh, probably going to start might start on pellets, still undecided. Got some pellets, got some worms and ground bait and dead, rag, dead maggots. Uh, and then I'm just gonna sort of feel my way into it because I've not been on here since last year. Um, I fished here in November, I think it was, one of Gary's qualifiers. And, and I've had some, we've had lots of fish on here, uh, not so many carp problems. Today I think it's gonna be difficult to avoid the carp because they're swimming everywhere. They're all like two foot under the surface, big black shadows. Um, so I think I'm gonna feel my way into it I'll probably start on pellets long uh, and feed some ground bait and caster short and then just see what happens engage whether or not they want some worms and that's about it morning chaps uh, it's jack harness um sat on peg 19 on the folly uh on the rw sponsored uh, on the flyer tv festival uh not sure what what to, what to uh, what to what to fancy on this peg never drawn it before but we're going to fish two lines long and one line short. Maybe fish casters short and maggots and pellets long. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have a few fish and uh, get a few points. Thanks very much.
What a day one battle that has been. A new venue record, Steve Harwood with a massive £69. Section winners are Jake King, Lee Wright, Steve Harwood and Rich Chapman. So all those heading into day two on one point. But with plenty of other people nipping at the heels, including myself, it's going to be a good battle for day two. And nothing, as they say, is decided yet. Let's see what happens on the second day. Right, so on day two of the OWU float sponsored uh, Riddings Festival, it's a two day silverfish festival at this uh, really, really amazing fishery. Um, it's absolutely solid for fish, it's brilliant. Um, I had a good day yesterday, managed to win my section up on the Folly Lake, uh, only just, uh, had 36 pound. Caught some skimmers, some nice big roach and hybrids in the edge on worms, uh, and a few skimmers a bit, a bit further out in the lake. Um, today, obviously, as we do a rotation, I've drawn on the match pool. Uh, I'm in, I would say, probably the best section on here, which got the best pegs on here, should I say. Um, mine, it is a good peg. It's probably not one I would have picked over some of the others in this section, but still, you've, it's one of them. You've got a job to do and just get on with it and fish your best. Uh, I've, I've had a little plum up. Plums up nice, nicely short, um, which, is, which is good. Um, so I, I fancy to catch some fish there. And I'm just gonna like go down the route of natural baits today. Uh, fish pellets a little bit yesterday. I didn't fe feel it was quite right. So today it's having loads of maggots, loads of casters and lots of worms. And uh, hopefully we can get another section win and uh, take it over the line and, and, uh, and, and win. But, We'll have to see how it goes. Fishing's a funny old game. There's a lot of good anglers in this section, good pegs. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, day two of the RW Floats Silver Fest at Riddins. Yesterday, we've had quite a nice day, to be fair. I think we've had 56 pound of silvers, which is a ridiculous day's fishing. Um, started off the day long, just tapping in little balls of crushed expander, fishing a few maggots, caught a lot of those really small skimmers, sort of three, four to a pound sort of size. And then we've ended up catching down the left hand edge, kind of top kit and two in about three foot of water. Been throwing casters there and caught little, little runs of fish there. There's been a few big old ugly carp in there, but there's been quite a few of those better stamped uh, bream as well, which have help, helped to bump up the weight. So that was all right, 56 pounds. Second overall, nowhere near Steve Ard Ardy. I'd, I'd like 69 pound or something ridiculous. But today um, we've drawn 19 on Folly. So deeper lake, add to tie line on my rigs and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, I think we're gonna go for a similar sort of approach. I know Lee Wright yesterday, he's caught a few better fish down the edge as well. So probably start long, same sort of thing, maggots, crushed expander, and see what we can do. Obviously, if we can get a section when it'd be lovely, but I think we're gonna struggle with um, Matt George on the end peg. That's fished well yesterday, so he's gonna be hard to beat, but we'll see. Second wouldn't be a disaster either, so let's see what happens. My name's Danny Hardy. We're on RW Float Silvers Festival at Riddings. <clears throat> I drew peg 27 yesterday on Follies. Never been here before, so I didn't know what to expect. I ended up with £35, just narrowly missing out uh, on section win to Lee Wright. Uh, but today I've drew peg 20 on the Riddings pool, which won it yesterday. Uh, so I've got my work cut out. Um, but I'm going to attack it again, same as I did yesterday with Pellet, and um, see where it gets me. Hi, I'm Jake King, uh, sponsored by Bag and Match Baits in Tribuco, UK. Uh, on the second day of the RW Silverfish Festival at the Riddings Fest Fishery, um, I've drawn peg 12 day one on the, the Folly Pool, had section win, so going into the second day, I've drew 23 on the Match Lake. Um, there's a reasonable weight off there yesterday, so I'm hoping for a reasonable return again today. So, all fingers crossed. I'm going to stick to the same approach that I did yesterday, sort of maggot over ground bait and pellet line as well, and see which works the best. Hello people, uh, my name's Steve Harwood. I'm on the two days RW Floats two day festival here at Riddins. It's a beautiful venue. Um, had a great day yesterday, uh, managed to break the Silverfish record here at Riddins, which is quite amazing, really. Um, was £69. Um, had a fabulous day, 
Uh, caught most of my fish short at six sections, around about seven metres, all on dead maggots and ground bait. Um, it was a fantastic day. I uh, fished another line with casters down the edge, but didn't really use it to be honest. There was that many fish in the peg. It was unbelievable. Um, had a bit of a cold wind blowing at it, um, which put a little doubt in my mind at the start, but uh, after about 15 minutes, it was quite evident there was loads of fish there willing to feed um, and just got my head down really. Um, but like I say, back here for the second year now at Riddins and it's such a fabulous venue. The owners really look after the place. It's, uh, it's absolutely brilliant and they got a calf on site as well. It's, um, it's fantastic. So today I've drawn here at Folly Pool. It's a little bit smaller pool than the Riddins pool I was on yesterday. Um, peg 10, which isn't ideal. It's uh, towards one end. You tend to want to be in the middle uh, on either side on this lake, but uh, I'm fairly happy. I've got a little bit of room, empty peg either side. So um, hopefully the fish will turn up and the carp will stay away and we'll have a good day.
Well, here I am with the 2023 RW Floats Spring Silverfish Champion, Steve Harwood. Steve, awesome, mate. Well Thanks, done. Tom. Not just um, a festival win, but a new venue record as well. Yeah, yeah, that was a surprise. I didn't realise that it was £69, to be honest, because uh, you get some of these venues, and especially in the summer, they can be uh, colossal weights of silvers, but uh, I think it shows what a great little venue this is, really. Um, just like a fisher chuck for two days and uh, brilliant fishing. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's been awesome, hasn't it? Just talk to us very briefly about your tactics over the last sort of couple of days. Yeah, so uh, the first day I drew down the bottom end of Riddin's Pool um, and the wind was blowing in there. It was a little bit of an awkward cold wind. Um, and I'd made the mistake last week uh, on the Rycroft Festival of, of fishing too far out and making life difficult for myself. So I just came here and I knew there was loads of fish um, in this place. So I just fished at uh, six and seven sections really and just kept it nice and manageable and nice and tidy. Um, fish ground bait, maggots, a few worms and loose fed casters over the top. Uh, loose fed casters down the edge as well. Um, and my best hook bait was a maggot on the hook. Uh, or a couple of dead reds um, and just steady away really I caught from the off on both days um, didn't have to think too much to be honest it was just uh, yeah it was nice simple fishing um, yeah until the carp turned up and uh, sport the show a little bit well but, we've, had, uh, we've had a little bit of that haven't we the last couple of days but to be fair considering I mean this, this weather yeah. It's not been too bad for him, has it really? I know, I should have bought my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but awesome. Uh, lastly, just a, a quick one on the event, really. Obviously, we've started running a few more of these sort of two-day festivals. The Riddings here at Tamworth, it's a cracking venue for it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what do you think about the sort of format of these events? I think it's wonderful. Um, what, well, on the flyer TV, Gary, yourself with the coverage. I think it's wonderful. It's great for the sport. Um, it just... It's what people want to see. Um, a lot of people work through the week. Um, the, there's a lot of midweek uh, matches um, in, on this format, and it just gives people when they get home from work or lunch break. It, it gives people something it's to watch, and it's great. Yeah. I've watched it myself, and it's uh, it's great just to have a little sneak peek, and and uh, yeah, it makes you want to go fishing. Brilliant. Well, that's the whole idea. Steve, well done again, mate. Enjoy your money. Thousand Thank quid, you. what are you going to do with that? Or well, 1200 quid, actually, isn't it? I don't know, really. Will, will the missus have something to say about it? She'll probably have it all. <laughs> <laughs> well done again, She'll mate. She'll let me go again, then. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fault you. Come on, let's have a beer. Thanks, mate.